Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, a new activity that we did with our master's students this last fall. And I help teach within the Global Medical Innovation Master's degree at Rice University. And most of these students are interested in finding careers in med tech. So not necessarily research, but more um, kind of Medtronic, uh, Boston Scientific, that sort of thing. And one of the key aspects of our of our master's program is that we want to train them in professional development topics and make sure that they're ready to make that jump into industry and that it's kind of a smooth transition when they're looking for those those career moves. So students had conveyed to us through various uh, mechanisms that they either lacked confidence or experience or were struggling with interviews. And so based on this feedback, we developed uh, a mock interview experience with engineers in industry. And this was the culmination of other mock interviews that myself and Dr. Wettergreen did with the students. So um, the goal was to get them some external feedback from people that they could be in theory interviewing with in real life. So the initiative was pretty time intensive this first time, um, but I'm gonna walk you through how we did it. And I think it was, it was really well received. So. We used our alumni networks and our professional connections to identify 14 representatives from industry across, I think it was about eight different companies. And uh, the request from these folks was for them to, to agree to one hour of their time. And they let me know what it was in a certain week. And they said, this is the time I'm available. And then I created a Google form and we had 45 students. We had both uh, the applied master students and the GMI students in this course. And they had to rank their first, second, and third choice of interviewer and their slot. And the purpose was to really provide the students with a bunch of different options, right? So we had everything from uh, the director of global quality at 3D Systems to an R&D engineer at Medtronic Neurovascular to a recruiter from Lumicity uh, to, you know, just like a design validation engineer. So they could, it was different levels of, of seniority of the engineers and then different different kind of specialties as well. And then once we everyone ranked everything, we matched everyone up and I sent an email with, and a calendar invite uh, to the interviewees and the interviewers, as well as the, the students' resumes. And then I also separately sent some mock interview questions that the interviewers could use if they so choose. And we, we informed the students that they were supposed to treat this as a normal interview, right? So make sure that you're dressed professionally, you're in a quiet environment, all those things. Uh, the slots were only 20 minutes long, and we instructed everyone that there was 15 minutes for interview and then five minutes for verbal feedback right then and there. And then at the conclusion of that, the interviewers and the students were provided with feedback surveys. And then at the very end, I took, I sent an email to each student that said, here's what how you filled out the survey as a self-eval, and here's how you're uh, interviewer filled it out so that they could have kind of a sanity check, you know, am I understanding where I'm landing on this interviewer? Of the 41 self-evaluations, so those are completed by the students, uh, 39 out of the 41 indicated they would recommend that interviewer for the, the activity in the future, which is nice because, you know, picking the right type of person who's willing to give their time and do this and do a good job was, was critical to the success. And then at least one student obtained an actual interview based on these mock interviews. Uh, the key improvement that we heard from both sides was to lengthen the time slots to 30 minutes to allow more time for feedback. You know, this was really trying to respect the time of the interviewer, but you know, maybe we can ask for an hour and a half and they can still interview three students. And I believe this could be used for undergraduate and graduate students. There wasn't any specific criteria that made this more uh, applicable for graduate students. And then I just want to share a couple of the results. So this middle column is the, the interviewers uh, reviews of their interviewees. And so you can see this was their overall performance. We asked them maybe 10 different questions, um, but this one showed really how did they do and how well did they demonstrate competence, confidence and capability. And, and as a program, this is helpful for us to see that, you know, generally speaking, our students are representing themselves well, right, in terms of this impression. And then, you know, they they provided some specific comments 
you know, and these are where I think it was really helpful for students. For instance, like the third one down, a lot of enthusiasm and passion for the medical device industry. He seems confident in his skills, but needs to focus on answering the questions directly and providing examples. So that's a piece of feedback that that student probably never would hear if they didn't do something like this. And then, you know, an, another one, the next one answered questions pretty well, but came off as nervous, intermittent lack of eye contact. So that's an actionable thing that that student can change based on this feedback. Um, another interesting outcome was we asked the interview interviewers, you know, if this was a real interview, would they move on in your process? And, you know, almost 70% said yes, and another 20% said maybe. So that's positive from our program perspective that, you know, we are equipping these students with the right skills. And then um, one last thing, the interviewees, so these are the student responses down here on the bottom box. Uh, this was just their feedback and, and what they found valuable. So, you know, they felt like it was helpful to see different perspectives and a great opportunity to see where they were at and how to do better. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, I think this was a great opportunity for students to get feedback they wouldn't otherwise get and really test their skills in terms of interviewing.